السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my dear students uh, Welcome back with our weekly videos uh, about our uh, course Traveler 6 This week I decided uh, to practice more on what we have studied on unit 5 Let's start with unit 5 vocabulary Now uh, we are going to have a look on this summary paper which I prepared especially for you This paper is about Unit 5 vocabulary Starting from prepositions Prepositions with of and about Okay, preposition with come after Preposition with comes after adjectives like familiar with pleased with angry with patient with popular with then preposition of comes after adjectives like proud of jealous of ashamed of capable of and conscious of preposition about comes after adjectives like nervous about curious about serious about upset about and worried about now we are going to revise some idioms that come with the verb come here is the idiom and here is its meaning idiom come to light come to light means to be made known come true means actually happen Come into power means to take a position of leadership or control. Come in handy means to be useful. Come into effect means to begin to apply. Idioms with thoughts. Have second thoughts means change one's opinion or have doubts. A penny. For your thoughts means something you say to ask. Train of thoughts means a series of thoughts, a group of thoughts. Have to be seen to be believed means to be unusual but true. Make believe means not real. Some, something that is not real means make believe. And the last thing we studied in uh, vocabulary on unit 5 was collocations. What were, what were collocations? We said colloca collocation means an adjective that combines with a noun to give a completely different meaning. Take these for example. Common sense. Common sense means feeling of responsibility. Mental power means the ability to think properly. Strong influence means strong effect. Vivid imagination means rich imagination. Lasting impression means continuous impression. Stimulating environment means supporting and encouraging environment. Wide range means great variety. Burning desire means strong desire. Now, my dear, let's open your workbook or activity book, page 41, to have some more practice. Here, exercise A, vocabulary, complete with prepositions. The adjective familiar. Familiar is followed by the preposition familiar with. Good. Ashamed of. Serious about. Good. Different. Ah, yes, different from. Proud. Of course, it's very common. Proud of. Very good. Curious about. Popular, 
a thing popular with good and capable of okay my dear now we have adjectives with their preposition focus because we are going to use them to fill in these sentences okay complete the sentences with the adjectives and prepositions from the previous exercise okay let's start with sentence number one hey young man you should be space of yourself talking to your classmates like this is an unacceptable so this young man made a mistake he acted badly so someone says you should be good ashamed of you should be ashamed of yourself number two looking back on his life he was quite a space his achievements oh he has great achievements so he was quite good proud of his achievements number three fast food restaurants are very space young people of course young people and fast food restaurants are very familiar or popular with popular with young people number four Daniel is not space computers at all so that's why he asked Khalid to help him he is not very good at he is not very good at using computers so he is not familiar with he is not familiar with okay number five although they are twins they are completely each other here they are twins but they are not the same they are different from each other different from okay now sentence number six i don't believe you aren't space what happened the last night you are not curious about okay good number seven don't worry Brandon is space looking after the business while we are away Brandon is clever enough to look after the business so he is capable of good he is capable of okay number eight are they space taking part in the marathon race are they serious about it taking part in the marathon race okay now let's go to have more practice on collocations okay match the adjectives on the left with nouns on the right to form collocations then use the collocations to complete the sentences from one to six okay i think you know it's very easy to uh, form these collocations now burning 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 yes burning desire very good uh, stimulating stimulating good environment vivid imagination common sense wide range excellent and the last thing impression very good now my students let's complete the six sentences with the correct collocation okay sentence number one Imad's always making up stories he, he is always all the time make up stories so he has got such a yes yes vivid imagination good the first time I saw his paintings, they made a space on me. His paintings were so magnificent. So they made a lasting impression on me. Very good. He or ha has a to succeed in becoming a basketball player. So he wants strongly to succeed. So he has a yes burning desire sentence number four it's a matter of space that we should all protect the environment protecting the environment is a matter of common sense great great my dear number five 
He is an amazing teacher who knows how to create a space in his classroom. Okay, so as a good teacher, he knows how to create a stimulating environment, a supporting and encouraging environment to his students. This school offers a space of extra extracurricular activities for children to choose from. So they offer great variety or wide range. Okay, that's all for now, my dear. I hope uh, uh, you got uh, the, the idea. I hope you revise what we studied in Unit 5 vocabulary section. So please, this paper is so important. I hope you to study it very well. Study it by heart. Then you can study from our workbook, page 41 and page 43. That's all for now. Thank you, my dear. See you in next video.